And uh, so you you see over everyone's sarcophagus. I mean, so you see your own names, right? And and you see these these titles ascribed to you as as you emerge. And you know the the lids um, the lids are carved in a shape that. Uh, it's not, it's not quite you guys, but they're, they're pretty close. You know, it's, I mean, I'm sure you're familiar with like an Egyptian sarcophagus where it's got the guy's face carved into it. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty close. They're, they're, you know, um, you'll hear me say, could have got the tits, right? Yeah. (laughs) So anyone who doesn't, um, I guess if you don't need a light source, you know, you're, you're, to look around if you do need a light source it um, is still dark in the after we open the tombs it's dark it is dark yes um so at least one of you needs a light source so you can cast a light spell or um what's your character thing no he can't he holds out his that's a great question <laughs> he holds out a long way i'll cast light on it nolly n-a-l-l-e and uh you know now that now that the room is actually lit up and you can um, you know, those of you with dark vision um, have, can see a little more detail with the benefit of the light too. Um, and uh, and you see that um, across from each of your uh, sarcophagi that that you know has your names, there's um, a set of canopic jars. Um, the, the largest of which, I love you know, is... My kidneys are still on fact. You know, I mean... <laughs> actually, you know, since you since you mentioned, make a, make a hill check. All right. Not really happy about the way you went to that <laughs> so quickly. <laughs> um, I'm going to be honest. You're a little terrifying right now. How about a nat 20 with plus four? Yeah. There you go. All right. So you... <laughs> you, 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 know, check, you, nat 20, you check yourself for organs and maybe you check your pulse make sure yep i'm breathing you're pretty sure you're alive pretty sure all right Seem to be, i mean the natural the I mean, natural 20 you're pretty pass, sure pass all the pass <laughs> all the tests all right. i can touch you and see if you're warm you guys can do that on your own time <laughs> yeah. you know i'm not quite sure yeah I really want to make it. <laughs> the outside seems warm. <laughs> well, you're Nora. If you think that we're healed, yeah, you I, probably have the best heal scale. And I got an F20 on the roll, so. Yeah. Okay, so let's put a couple things together. One, we're fine. Two, we're well, missing well, some wait, items. Hold on. I disagree with flying. Nobody's paid me enough to be climbing out of sarcophagus. He's got a point. Well, none of us have been paid yet. So That's why I'm not fine. Uh, right. <laughs> what I'm more worried about is my things are not here with me. Yeah, also not fine. Else missing your thing. Look, we're we're alive, ish, yeah. adjacent. I have everything with me. That well, do we have our weapons? Um, Seems we have so weapons and armor. We have armor. Uh, yeah. yeah. You, if you, um, so I mean. Yeah, you have a you have a sword. So actually, when you shove your like the sarcophagus lid off you, um, your sword or axe or whatever probably falls out because it was laying on your chest. Gotcha. Um, and like, what what would you be your weapon? Like, you have like a big and a like, scimitar mate? and a shield, or big shield. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah, you would have like your your when sh- when you woke up, actually, you would have probably noticed. That your your shield and scimitar were on your chest, right? And, and you're you're reclining enough that they like stay in place until you get out of sarcophagus. They kind of slide down. Yeah. Okay. So so we got our weapons. That's good. Yeah. Now we got to find our other crap because I had a lot of cooking supplies that I need to get back. Look around and see if our backpacks and things are here. Is real big. I switch inside the sarcophagus. Somebody help first. me get out of the sarcophagus. Yeah. Oh, you're yelling yeah. for help. We'll help yeah. you. I got oh. there. You guys are all doing this. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Apologies, we forgot about you. We assumed you were strong enough, wizard. Yeah. No offense. So, uh, yeah. That's not my skill set. Yeah. 
Um, so you you shove the you shove the sarcophagus lid off and and you find uh, find your wizard. Um, and then, as I mentioned, the the canopic jars on the far side. What are so, that? so so you know several of them are like small like for for organs, but one is massive, right? Or backpacks. Or backpacks <laughs> <laughs> and other other shit. So, I want to so, open one of the small organ ones. Uh, so you open it, and uh, you can see um, at the bottom there is some dust. But there's no organ? Uh, no. Does anybody Would have a detect anything? magic ability? Is this like a... Yes. Was this like a religious thing? Um, this is... It is a religious thing, although it's not... Not religious... Or I guess make, make, make a knowledge religion check. I look at I look at our resident check person. Oh, that's probably this one. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Hey, Wizard. I go. Is this reminiscent of any religion you would remember? World religion. Steve, what's your character's name again? Hicks. Hicks. H I X. I should be able to remember that because I my World well, of Warcraft. Likes it. He's Hicks. My World of Warcraft. I realize now you have one <laughs> character voice. <laughs> Did you? Oh, I didn't try to. I just figured I would. <laughs> there's a rule. People who have complicated names just yeah. get. It, they get nicknamed or teased. It's yep. always a roll. You got to make it Great. short and sweet. Done. Um, You're the kid I rolled a twelve plus eight is twenty. The Trey us, but yeah. Trey That is the same one. What's your name? Nolly. 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 Yeah. yeah. So is... Nella Wafer, a Trey you. <laughs> That's what your goal is. <laughs> Nolly's not so bad. It's because there's an Atreyu that I'm going to remember Atreyu instead of Atreyu. Atreyu us. Atreyu us. I'm only going to remember your character's name. Oh, right wait. Now. No. I will know exactly who you are. From now on, I will watch if your name is too damn close to betray us. <laughs> there you Way go. too damn close to betray us. Betray us. What do you think? I didn't switch to neutral evil. <laughs> well, yeah. Pretend that we're all not of the good... I just gave you life. You want me to take it away? I will take so away you pick, your life. When you pick, when you made your oracle self, did you pick Blacken because of the god that you picked to follow? No, Blacken I did because because I wanted some offensive. Okay, because it works with the it works with the, the lore of it too. Yeah, the god's a guy of torture and pain, and all of his people like to do. No, yeah, no, I picked the god specifically yeah. for this campaign because I switched everything from the lawful evil, yeah, lawful good to lawful evil. Yeah, so I switched everything around for really quick. I've been doing this forever, so making a character is, doesn't take long. Yeah. It's the cheesiest loss. Um, does the big jar detect his magic at all? Uh, if you have magic item in it, it does. Did you not realize that I just said it's our goods? What's missing is in the large jars. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to see if there's magic at all, like a storage jar that we can use or something, you know? Good thinking, Betrayus. Uh, please stay away from my stuff. I thought it'd, I thought it'd be good for storing some meats later on. Oh, let's, okay. let's say that you know some cured meats. Some I got some That's good jerky little, in there. I want to make sure I get that back. All right, all right. Well, we'll pop them open. Get, so you got to get our shit out of it. So yeah, so that twenty on the knowledge tells you that um uh it's it's somewhat uncommon nowadays, but um. A thousand years ago, when Roslar lived, um, it was not unheard of to essentially embalm someone that you wanted to make sure would not be, um, that their body wouldn't be used for, for making undead. It's kind of weird, you know, but, but considering that this tomb was made for a guy who died a thousand years ago, it's not that odd. Also, was he like a necromancer or something? Or what, didn't they have necromancer no. issues recently or something? No. Okay, so so Roslar fought in the Shining Crusade against Tarbafon. Mm -hmm. Tarbafon was, he's known as the Whispering Tyrant. Mm -hmm. He was a Lich King. Lich King, that was. Tarbafon. No, I just can't remember. Yeah, yeah, so, so uh, and this is this is maybe a little bit of history that, that uh, some of you should know. So Tarbafon, uh, he started as a sorcerer king. Um, 
he uh, grew his empire far and wide while he was a mortal. Then he found the spell book of the Rune Lord of Gluttony. I know some of you have played The Rise of the Rune Lord, so you're familiar. So he found the spell book of the Rune Lord of Gluttony and learns the secrets of necromancy from him, turned himself into a lich, and became the Whispering Tyrant. Um, at, uh, at one point in Last Wall's history, it was, con it was conquered by Tarbafon. And, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, Roslar um, was part of the Shining Crusade that defeated Tarbafon the second time. Because, like, so he was a sorcerer king. He got defeated. Then he became a lich, got defeated again. Um, he just didn't want to take the owl. But it makes sense then that this tomb would be protected against a necromancer or a lich. Because Roslar, Roslar fought against a necromancer, right. so yes. That, that makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, so you guys find you find your backpacks in the canopic jars with uh, along with your uh, you know any any traveling supplies you may have purchased. Um, and then the, the last thing that you, uh, you see, you know, sort of out of place, uh, among the rest of the, uh, grave goods is a crate covered with a drop cloth. Ooh. I'll take a look at it. And, you know, you, uh, you probably need some help, uh, from one of your colleagues to pry it open, but, uh, it doesn't, doesn't take very long. Uh, you find, um couple of dried out paint cans that are of no use to you. Um, there is a crowbar, a flint and steel, um, three lamps, one hooded lantern, uh, some assorted tools, and uh, eight pints of oil uh, to fill the lanterns. Might as well take that for later. You might need it. Where do you plan to put all this stuff? That's a bag. I was going to give you the lantern if you wanted it again. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll, take, I'll take one of the pints of oil. Dish them out. I don't need them. <laughs> I'll take the crowbar, though, just in case. Maybe. I'll take a lantern just in case. Yeah, we'll... And a pint of oil. We'll leave the paint cans. Well, I guess we don't need those. The, fill the lantern with a pint of oil. So do you take a spare pint, or do you just fill the lantern and go? Uh, I'll fill the lantern and take one spare point. Okay. Now, because of the nature of this particular campaign, right, it is important to keep track of that stuff, right? Um, so, so as you, because, okay, you know what, I'm just going to full disclosure, right? You're not going to get a chance to buy shit until level five. Awesome. So keep that in mind as you pick stuff up. There's how many pints of oil? You said nine? Eight. Eight. So we got one, two, three. I'll take two. Okay, so four. You want to go? I don't carry shit. And I mean, it, it's no. also, uh, I mean, we can, uh, you know, I, I guess, is there any of it that you guys are deciding to leave behind? Or should, you know, as a party, do we just say that you're taking it and we'll, you know, we can we'll, just assume that we can distribute it as we go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. That's, the that's paint right. cans, maybe we don't need. I mean, those those you are a thousand percent sure are useless. To yeah. You. So we don't need those, but we'll take the lanterns and stuff just so we have them for use and if we need I mean, them. Maybe not a thousand percent. Maybe if you're <laughs> maybe your players have seen Home Alone and tried paint <laughs> cans would be useful. <laughs> hey, paint cans are really helpful in Fallout. Yeah, they're oil and they're steel. Aluminum, yes. Yes, yes. and you yeah. need both of those yeah. to build shit all the time. <laughs> Anyways. Maybe we should take those and build a house. <laughs> Rebuild the town. Modify a gun. I mean, you have you, to have the oil. Are you offering, big boy? No. Oh, no. You do have a good charisma score, so. Yes. Very good. I decided my character is gay, by the way. So. I'm a handsome. Okay. I'm going with that. Are you male or female this time? Male. Okay. <clears throat> I'm a gay male this time instead of a gay female. <laughs> I'm just curious. Don't know what's going on anymore. That's why I gave him the handlebar mustache. Sure. At least, at least now <laughs> that. Wait a minute. <laughs> at least now I got a couple of characters that are attracted to males that I can like. 
I can have a different option, you know? I don't have to vamp you with the attractive <laughs> female. I can... The old Preston Garvey yeah. role, huh? Yeah. 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 yeah, have a little diversity here. Just in case. He, much like my character, hasn't figured out what she's attracted to yet. <laughs> I rightly don't care. <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, the room that you find yourselves in uh, has only one exit, which, which makes it you know, kind of clear the path forward. Um, but now that you've freed yourselves from the sarcophagi and retrieved your, your equipment, you've, you've mostly searched this room. I mean, I, I think you've all identified, you know, you've, you've seen your own graves, which is perhaps a bit unsettling. How did we get here? There was a magic effect that she used when she closed the door. Heard it, but I couldn't tell you what it was. You think she cast that on us? She cast something, whether it was on us or the room or something else. Uh, I believe her spell is probably what caused us to be here. Hmm. Let's just say if she wants her split of the gold, it may cost her a good right cross. Well, I say we go ask her then. Uh, sure. Meanwhile, I'm going to go through this door. Exactly. <laughs> so <clears throat> you uh, you come to the door and uh, you are a blood rager. So so I I presume that you just shove it open. I uh, use my hand and wave it in front of me, and the door opens, closes on its own. <laughs> ah, you you use a cantrip. I like it. I don't open doors. Let's you used do. motion sensor. <laughs> yeah, another another there's wizard. a sensor on the top of the door frame. I just wave my hand the door open. You see some disinterested person who walk from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, you push your way into <clears throat> into the next room there, where you know shelves that are uh, rags that look like tattered. Uh, wrappings for a mummy, perhaps, um, and loose bones. The hallway moves. You, know, you can see that the, the hallway continues on a little bit that way, but you can't quite see it because you're, um, you know, you're still in the doorway. And uh, when the door opens, uh, you see a skeleton, but make a perception check. All of us? Then? That's a uh, 22. 18. 23. I keep rolling high. No, no, that's fine. Actually, I mean, you're probably, because you're in the doorway, you're probably the only one who can see this. But, I mean, if you care to tell anyone, what's odd about this skeleton that begins lumbering towards you is that someone, for whatever reason, has has deemed fit to to swap his uh left leg and his right arm with each other so he's walking on one leg and one hand and comes lumbering towards you with one hand and one foot so punch kick attack at the same time. <laughs> okay it's a battle Command and yeah we should we should roll initiative of course and i don't i might have actually i might have forgotten my dice that might be yeah you can use the house I, dice Oh, yeah, no, the house dice. Yeah, that's oh. the second natural 20 for me. There you go. Your first. And we'll actually get a roll twice and take the better result. Let's see if I get better. Nope. <laughs> I'll take nine. I got you can't three. get better than 20. I know. What did you say? Yours nine. 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 What are you at? Three. three. I rolled a natural one. If I'm going to get a natural one, I'll take it for initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, Hicks, <clears throat> what's your initiative? With your improved initiative already in there, please. Yeah. Uh, 18. 18. Yeah, I don't have improved initiative. Oh, I'm sorry, it's more than that. It's more, I was looking at something else up. Uh, 19, 20, sorry. Not that it makes a difference. Oh, that's cool. Um, good command undead, let me see here. I need that guy. I want to, <laughs> I, I got a minion. I want my minion. You want the one with the arm where yeah, a leg no, should I, be I, and I, a leg I, 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 we could We could fix that. We can change that up. Skelly. What's the skeleton at? Let me get a sec. 22. Ooh, that matches yeah, me. What's his initiative? Plus three. Yeah. Oh, he beat me. Fuck. Okay, he's first. Command. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. But I can't like this. All right. I have Undead um, Master is my archetype. Yeah. It allows me to. Oh, did you go to the, cl the cleric? 
No, you're a wizard, right? I'm a wizard, but yeah, I'm dead now. So. so do so we need to get back for our battle map. We need to get ourselves some minis. I got one here for me, and there's one here for I'm guessing All right. Aaron. Yep. So you two need to go get your own, I guess. Oh, yeah, go get minis. Yeah. Yeah, so a skeleton. I sent you a print file for mine. Steve, I don't know if you ever made it. Oh, did you send me a print file? I, yeah, I have it. I, I can run that off I, for you for sure. I didn't paint my new mini for this one. Uh -huh. I've got him. Uh -huh. And I've but got him in his gotcha. lich form. Uh -huh. I've got both already. I just haven't started painting him yet. There you go. I was waiting for the bike. I got my ninth level lich ready at second level. Yeah. Way to go, Steve. I'm going to say we did not make it that far. Where's that? Uh, when it's sufficiently hot, you gotta, get it it out. You gotta wrap. Miss Whip it out, out, dude. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. sufficiently hot. Put it on the table. It better not be an L. <laughs> I never went up to a group okay. of minis, and I just need to find one with a good rack. Well, maybe not there soon. You go. So like, like that joke where the king's supposed to go out and find a, a new wife, and he's got the doctor, he's got the librarian, and something else. It's like a <laughs> Yeah, prostitute. Which one did you pick? And they explain all their traits and which one's the best. And the very end, just goes, find the one with the biggest scooters, of course. <laughs> <laughs> all the explanation. And that is what it down. And that's all it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, I really like the one about the the captain and the brown pants, but like yes. that setup is so long on that joke. Yes. It doesn't have to be long. Some of these don't have to be as long as people make them. Too many short ones. But anyways, so this thing, you know, it opens a door and apparently it wins the initiative. So it it lumbers forward. And uh, did you find a skeleton mini with a misplaced foot and <laughs> arm? I did Probably not. not. No. Yeah. Uh, eighteen to hit you. To hit who? The uh, yeah. little um, door. Um, no, we need to be hungry. That's missed. Barely, but that's a miss. Wow, okay. Maybe in a little bit. I don't even have that good of armor either. Hmm. Move my mob. Yeah. And then Atreus, it is your turn. Um, so let's see, I'm behind his ass. You can ready. Is there a door? Wait, is there room between you and the door, or is he right at the door? He's at the door. He's yeah. gonna be five feet from me. You can ready. I'm gonna move back to the door. Yeah, I'll just actually so I'll just wait till you're after your turn. <clears throat> so I'll delay till after his turn. Yep. Hitch. His neck. Oh well, no, you're down far. What happened? Yeah. We're missing a name. Oh, it fell off on the wall. <laughs> He's so low on initiative. Right. Yeah. Uh, damn it! The wrong one. Hicks. Steve, it's your turn. Uh, he's in front of us? Yes. Command Undead. All right. <clears throat> make, a, make a knowledge religion. Uh, so it doesn't work. Okay. Make a knowledge religion. Uh, knowledge religion 19. 11 plus 8. So, yeah, you... Um, essentially, the combination of your spell doesn't work and the unusual appearance of this thing, you believe it is not actually undead. Oh. Which, which is odd. That is very odd. Okay. So that was your standard action. Uh, you can take a move action. Uh, I say it's... I. It's free action to talk, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not undead. Um, kill it. <laughs> and as my move oh, action. Oh. Why do we think of that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you guys are right there. I mean, I think it'd be good. I'm in the I back. wanted to give it a big warm hug. Yeah. I was going to make it a pet, but apparently I can't do that. So you kill it, and then we'll make it a pet. Ah. And then after that. Um... Okay, so you got one. Do you do anything? No. Okay. Uh, I move out of the way. I'm going to take means... a step back. Oh, okay. Move out of the way for for my monk to protect me. All right. Well, it's Drake's turn, then. All right. Drake. Oh, we didn't even put Brad on the order. Where, what is Brad's initiative? Brad's initiative is... 
So plus two, nine plus two is 11. 11. All right. Well, we'll put them after me and break them just for fairness. All right, go ahead. Uh, does a 17 hit? Yeah, that does a 17 hit. You actually need a 27 hit. Yeah. 17 will hit. Hey, with all the 20s we've been rolling today. Uh, 11 points of damage. With what sort of weapon? It is a glaive disarm. So if you want to know what type of damage it does, probably that's slashing, it's probably? a slashing weapon. Could I get a pencil? Yeah. That one. All right. So those those eleven slashing, right? Yeah. Yeah. So half of eleven. No, it's it's okay. So, well, it's not undead. So. Okay, the damage is not as effective, right? Like you, you definitely realize that your slashing weapon is not doing damage to the bones, right? But, you're dead. but you also just hit really hard, so, you know, so it dies. Or no, that Drake just went atrius. Uh, so it's dead. Right. Or you know. Big reception check. Okay. Oh, that's a crap here, Uh, 11. Okay. Looks okay. dead. Looks dead. <clears throat> so I'm going to push past the doorway and I'll move into the room. Let's go there. Anything else in the room that I should take note of? Yeah, so you can see a little further in, there's a little supply alcove and a larger chamber beyond. Um, no other noticeable skeletons or anything in the room, though. No, you don't see anything. Okay. Well, then I'll just move there and be like, looks like a hallway, so I think we're in the clear. And then it's going to be Bryce's turn. Which, Steve, are you playing for Brad? I am. Okay. Uh, there's nobody mm -hmm. else there? Not that we're aware of. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I think his movement is actually, no, it is 30. He doesn't see anything from there. Uh, he'll move up more. 5, 10, 15. We'll stop there. I don't want to kill Brad's character right off the bat. <laughs> Brad, I hope you feel better. By the way, what was your backup character? Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a backup character? I think we've done that to you a couple of times. Was that to me? Yeah, we've done that to you a couple of times, I think. I've died absent, not in the first round. <laughs> well, and if he re rolls a perception, his perception is 27. So if I rolled a okay. net 20, and he's got a plus 7. All right, he sees uh, He sees something, looks like uh, something is uh, laying in the middle of the floor in the, the next room ahead. Okay, and um, he has also, a light on him. What's that? He does have a light? Yeah. I cast light on his on his wrapping of his hand or something, so he has a or his cloak brooch. Yeah, so I mean, he still, he still can't see around the corner from where he is, but he can probably see a little further, you know, into that room. And yeah, there's there's something something is laying on the ground unconscious ahead of him. Okay. Uh, so that was Bryce Nolly. 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 That'd be you, big boy. Uh, I'm gonna walk up to the the. A skeleton thing that he said wasn't undead, and I want to just take a look at it. Okay, make a perception check. Could I do if it's not dead? If it's alive, can I do a heal check to assess its body nature or something like that? I don't know if body nature is a real term, but <laughs> I really okay. rather make a heal check as opposed to a perception check. Sure, make a heal check. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that one. I mean, my roll sucks, so I got a ten. Okay. Why don't they matter? Uh, I mean. <laughs> Even a first-year medical student oh, yeah. would know that the tailbone of a normal skeleton does not move after it's done dying. Um, the, the, the tailbone of this skeleton seems to be trying to detach itself. It's like reeling, trying to reel loose. Can I cast a spell still? Uh, looking is a move action. Did you move yet? You yeah, moved up I would have to move okay. to look. Okay, so that'd be two actions. So you then no. So but I, you can free action to tell somebody. I do. I say, guys, this is not dead dead. Okay. Uh, the tailbone looks like it's trying to detach itself from the rest of the body. I know that sentence does not make any sense, 
I said it out loud, and yet I do not believe it myself. Okay, well, it's, <laughs> it's a Skelly's turn then. Okay, uh, and so the <clears throat> tailbone finishes detaching itself uh, and looks at uh, Nolly, who is looking at it. I already have my own tailbone. Uh, was, and was no, that no vacancy. A big eye on it that it looks at her. No vacancy. You little yeah, that that cool. slot yeah, is taken. It, <laughs> it, uh, it brandishes a mouthful of teeth and tries to chomp. Guys, this is gross. Yeah, as a free action, I clench. <laughs> yes. Uh, looks like it, it misses dismally. Good. Uh, and that is its turn. But there is a... Um, so now that it's detached, you know, it, it looks like it's a piece of skeleton, but with, like, tentacles and a mouth uh, coming out of the back end. Um, I know we're playing hand back. Almost yeah. looks like a mollusk, you know, it, like, just with a mollusk with a bone shell. So it's technically a butt munch, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I mean, basically, this is the epitome of what a butt munch If is. that's what you want to think yeah. about, that is for, for, for the yeah. first sure. sponsor, Steve, our DM sure. has presented a butt munch <laughs> <laughs> to set the po pacing and tone for combat for this campaign. Yeah. So, Hicks, <laughs> you, you, have, you have heard this be announced. <laughs> it's a butt lunch. Uh, that's my turn? Yes. So, I cast, from where I, you said it's still moving, so I'll just do uh, Acid Splash on it. Okay, okay. make a touch, touch attack. Nat 20. All right, uh, rolls and improve. 17 plus... That's enough. Okay. What's well, uh so so uh acid spot is D three, so yeah, so I guess it's two D three. It's not a lot. I know, but if it's still moving, it's not yeah. I rolled a six, so that's six. Because it's yeah. three times yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, well it's, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that, that works for me. So okay. It's not dead, but uh it's definitely uh, it definitely lets out a scree of pain as you blast it with acid. Okay. Uh, you move it, and I'll move. It's right here, right? I'll move it. Yeah, I mean it's it's a tiny creature, but it's in the skeleton space. Okay, I moved it. Or I moved actually, it got close enough. Yeah, I got close enough to attack Nolly, so it should be, be next, next to them. them. Right here. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Um, then it goes to Drake. 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 Yep, we're still in initiative here. Drake will stab. It's dead. You're gonna stab it? It's not dead. Is not dead? I thought you said it was dead. No. It's squeed. No. no. Oh, okay. It's squeed in game. game. I thought you said squeed and die. <laughs> My mistake. Some of those. My mistake. They critted it. I didn't think the thing would survive a crit. I can't go on it. All right. So the other thing that I'm going to do, and, and you know, okay. you don't need to necessarily burn them right now, but because of the difficulty of healing, do you, are you guys familiar with hero points? Sorry, yeah. Okay. okay. Everyone, mark down that you got one right now. Okay. Um, so, uh, because it's hard to stay alive as villains without, because you don't have healing for the most part. So, before a roll, you can use a hero point for a plus eight. After the roll, you can use it for a plus four. You can use it for a re-roll. You can use it for a hint. Those are the, those are the uses for one hero point. Two hero points will save you from dying. If you would be killed, you spend two, and instead of dying, you go to neg one and stable. Sounds like you should have that in King Nick. <laughs> um, so everyone, mark down that you got one hero point. I'm not saying you should use a hero point to kill this thing right now, but just because we've had several natural ones so far this morning, for the time when you, when that natural one is really inopportune, you have a hero point. You get and and what I'm going to do the way I'm going to do it is um, you're going to earn one every session that your physical human player attends. Oh, interesting. So Bryce doesn't have one technically. Um, okay, so you Drake missed. It's my turn. So Atreus is going is, is that to a, a book that you can turn on in Hero Lab. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yep. Which what's the name of it? Do you know? Hero points. Oh, okay. It's under I think Ultimate Campaign, maybe. Okay. 
actually look at that. Up 19 on the die to hit the thing. That's probably more than enough already. And that's actually a crit for me. It looks like you had a question, too, that was waiting. Uh, did you have a question? Uh, and I'll get it later. Okay. Cool. It's not important anything. Uh, actually, no, you answered it. It was, how do we accumulate hero points? Ah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The, the other thing is, is I, I, you'll get one for every session that your physical human attends. I can give you a bonus one if you do something particularly mustache twirlingly villainous. Oh. Good thing I have a mustache. Let's uh, see how many of those I can get in a session. <laughs> right. Let me, let's go back to town, fellas. Um, <laughs> so I got 19 on a die, which is a crit with my mm. scimitar. Uh, I'm guessing an 18 confirms the crit. 18 will confirm the crit. Now I need a goddamn D6, which apparently I do not have. Out. There you go. All right, I got it. Thank you. That's anytime you need me to lend you your dice, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Let's see, I got plus three. You, when, you, when you crit on a melee attack, you double the dice, right? Or do you double the actual damage that you do? Yeah, so so what I do is is I, I say that you roll the dice twice, and then you take whatever the flat bonus is and double that. Okay, that makes sense. So then that's going to be a 12 total. Oh my gosh. So if it's 1d4 plus 1. You just roll 2d4 plus 2. Right. That would be... Weird. That's what your sentence said, right? You roll 1d4... Just yeah, so, yeah, a d4 plus 1 on a crit becomes 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Yep. That, that makes sense. I yep. just wanted to make sure I understood it. Yep. Um, okay, so 11 points of damage, right? This thing was already bloodied before you took your scimitar swing. Your... Your blow is enough that you cleave through its hard, bony shell, and the thing is no more. It, it falls over on the ground, and uh, you see that, that very rapidly its body desiccates and it crumbles into a dust. Well, I wanted to eat that, but there we go. And now we can exit initiative. Yeah, I was going to say, it's Bryce's turn if we're doing initiative stuff. All right, well, that was fun. Yeah, so you see in the next, in, in the chamber there, um, there is a supply alcove. Um, you you know, you're not sure necessarily what, what, you know, but you see candles, there's some uh, uh, couple of bottles of water, um, a holy symbol, a healer's kit. One of create water and five. Potions of Cure Light Wounds. Yep, so I'll, I'll make sure I mark all that down. Um, you know, all that... Are we do standard loot sheet stuff, basically. Yeah, we'll do the standard loot sheet stuff. The big thing is just going to be that since you don't have an opportunity to, like, go to town and sell stuff, you know, for the most part, like, what you got, what you pick up is what you pick up, right? You know, so just keep that in mind. I mean, you can bank stuff for later, but just, like, yeah, for right now, remember, yeah, you, you get what you find. So... Um, but yeah, so want to create water, uh, holy symbol, holy water, five potions of cure light, and a healer kit. And then now that you have a little more, you know, you, you get, some of you guys are able to move in, uh, I'm going to reveal the next room as well. Mm -hmm. You, you want to have it on your person or you want to drink it? Yeah, yeah, I didn't think you took any damage, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, I took damage. Huh? I haven't found him either. I'll find him in somewhere. Yeah, I've seen him before. I'm pretty sure you have to go to configure hero and do that. Okay. But it, it's it's on one of the books. I don't remember which book, but I know it's it's one of the basic ones. It's like it's not. It's probably not core, but it's probably like ultimate campaign or GM guide that that it's in. But yeah, you see a room. Uh, uh, so the next room is um, uh, the walls are, are made of marble. Um, you see several images of battle that feature a, a knight uh, riding a horse. Um, he's got uh, no helmet. Uh, his hair streams behind him. He's got a uh, a wide mustache that that uh, actually to some extent resembles Atreus. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Depends the mustache. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Same, and uh, uh, you know, <laughs> sort of unexpectedly for a, a knight, you know, most knights have most knights right in the battle with a lance. This knight, for whatever reason, reason clutches a rapier uh, in his hand. Um, <laughs> uh, so there's a you know, couple of passages that lead out. Um, so to the east, um, or to the northeast, I should say, um. There's an archway that's carved in common. It says, at my right hand, peace for years of righteous labor. Uh, to And so, uh, let's see. East is going to be towards me. North is going to be towards Lucas. Um, so, uh, archway to the east. Or, or, sorry. So, northeast says, at my right hand, peace for years of righteous labor. So, that's this one over here. Uh, to the east says... Roslar, hero and paladin at his well-earned rest. Uh, to the southeast, loyal Abdel, support thy master always. And then finally, the, the thing that you saw sprawled in the middle of the floor that, that first you know, draw your attention to the room is what looks like a, uh, a skeleton, um, although its bones are made of metal. Uh, it's wrapped in robes. And uh, you can see that a portion of this uh, creature has been melted. Is it dead? It's not moving when you enter the room. Is it re-dead? Well, I'm gonna wait for someone else to do close before. Go look at that. I'll go look at it. <laughs> <laughs> see if it moves. Um, let's see. So you enter the room. Uh, you know, you see. Uh, so the room you're in is is just this large marble hall. Um, you can see the, you know, the, the carvings, like I described the figure on the floor, um, looks skeletal to you. Like I said, it's, um, although it's bones are made of metal knowledge planes. If anybody, uh, I don't have that. Has that. I don't have knowledge planes. I don't even have knowledge time. I own shoelaces. Jeez. <laughs> I know. Insurance more. plus eight with everything. 13 oh. plus eight. So, like the third one down, Means, yeah, fourth one down, says advanced player's guide. There's advanced player guide hero points. It's at the end of the advanced player guide. Advanced player guide. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, this, this is a Celadon, a Psychopomp, Keeper of the Dead. Okay. What else do I know about it? Is it undead? It is not undead. It hails from the boneyard. Okay. Uh, it is a keeper of the souls of the dead. It is an enemy of the undead. An enemy of the undead. Okay. Let everybody know that. Yeah. So they hate you. I get it. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> and, and uh, apparently Brad. <laughs> so, I, I mean, do. You know time, or your your mystery is time. Your mystery is life. So you're both familiar with the boneyard, right? You know that the the boneyard is kind of the pathfinder equivalent of purgatory. That's sort of where your soul goes before it goes to its final destination. Like before you go to heaven or hell, you go to the boneyard and get sorted out. Right, like a pile of bones. So which passage shall we take? Don't give me any of your right hand rule. I mean, we can go clockwise. I'm fine with that, too. Do any of the signs mean anything to you? I'm going to look at Hicks and ask him, because I have no idea. <laughs> He's got more knowledge than I do. What do you want the knowledge on? Signs. Do any of the signs mean anything to you? Uh, the label door Linguistics? Um, this is more a matter of... Uh, Knowledge local or knowledge history? I have both. We'll do local. Neither. Uh, 13 plus 8. 13 plus 8 on, on which one? one? Uh, knowledge local. Okay. Let me roll them separately. Does it matter? No, it's okay. I, I, it, it's, it's really just a matter like whichever one you're better at is. Okay. is They're really both right. the same for me. Yeah, okay. So, all right. So, what you know is. 
Roslar was a paladin. He led the Knights of Ozum, uh, which is the, the order of paladins that rules over last wall. Let's see, with your with that that role there, you know that Roslar um was uh uh infatuated with Arosni. Arosni was a beautiful herald of Aradin, um, you know, and, and sort of a demigod in her own right, uh, who fought in the Shining Crusade. So Ros Roslar was infatuated with Arosni. You don't know the full details other than that there was some scandal with, re with regards to Roslar at the time of his death. Um, that caused Roslar to not actually be interred in Roslar's tomb. And that's the symbol on one of the passageways? That's the, the this way leading, and actually, you know, now, now that you're about there, I'll give you this, you can see. Yeah, I mean, I can look down the pathways. Let's see. Like, you can, we can take a glance at this. <clears throat> um, and I can, so behind that one there, at least, you, know, you can, you can easily see the, the massive stone sarcophagus on top of a dais. Um, you know, and that's the archway that's labeled for Roslar. And can I just look around to tech magic, see what's going on? If there's any auras popping out of anything? Um, you know, so you get no, you get no magic um, from, I mean, other than like, there were some, some potions that were magical before in the wands, right? You would detect those. Um, but you get no magic from uh, the corpse. What about um, from that area there you just revealed? Uh, there is... There's no magic, but um, even even at your level, you would know that um, that sarcophagus is probably thick enough to detect, to block your detect magic. Like, if there was something in the coffin, you wouldn't detect it. You say that? Yeah. I'm going to say, fuck it. Let's go check out the car. I'm going to walk in there. Anybody following me or you guys staying back? I'll stay in the middle next to the monk. So okay. since you guys move up, I, you know, I'll give you a little more. There is a there is a massive, massive sarcophagus down here. And then you know a few more that you can glimpse through the uh, doorway as you look up to the north. But you start moving towards... The, the sarcophagus of Roslar. Did she say where to look for this seal? Did she give us any hints? There's a secret compartment in Roslar's coffin. So I, I do um, detect, I move up a little bit and detect magic in oh. each room. In the other rooms? He already did it in the coffin. With the monk. Oh, you say, do you want to highlight that room? I'm controlling both characters. I need a bodyguard. Mine as well. Mine as well. So Those two are you, hands. Check on. you detect, when you detect magic in the room over here, right? Okay. Yeah, there is, there is a, uh, there is magic in that room. Okay. Brad, I'm going to tell you for 12 things here. Brad's done. Why? I'm going to see you play it. Or there's a there's a shelf over here, and there's a magic item on it. Okay. From the doorway, you can't tell what it is. Well, if you're gonna say something, I'll, all right, I say something I'll to the group because I'm not going in there by myself. Um, and uh, say, hey, there's something over here that could be valuable. All right. Well, we'll you know, take a detour. everyone's attention and uh, point out it's in that corner. All right, well, we'll take a detour. I'll come over and join you guys, and we can send the monk in to look at it. <laughs> I'll say. The monk can go over and take a look. The lowly vampire can go take a look. Okay, right? So the monk yeah, goes over time. there. Yeah. Listen. With his so, perception of plus... Do you need to roll or want me to roll it? Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, someone needs to... Or, yeah, you can roll the perception. That's okay. Okay, uh, plus seven on a 12, so... 19. 19, okay. Goes over and looks at the shelf. Okay, so 
Um, as he goes into the room, what he sees is uh, there are uh, there are places set for twenty humanoids in the room. Twenty. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's only six, but they're they're stacked like bunk beds, right? So. Uh, so there, there's spaces for, for several humanoid creatures in the walls here. Um, but he only finds um, a smattering of bones scattered around, um, and not even whole bones, like fragments of bone. As he gets close to the shelf where you uh, find the magic, um, it's not exactly a trap, but he is aware that the the shelves have been weakened by acid such that um if he if he tries to retrieve the magic item he thinks it's gonna uh collapse on him okay he, no, has, he has he has a device, device right? yes uh so he has a roll want me to or you to you have any okay. i rolled a 19 plus 10 so 29. okay so you know yeah i mean it really is it's just a matter of like bracing it properly so that he can retrieve the item uh but he's able to do it 